Doing today is phenomenal, bro. Today we are here with the Dreamcatcher Alone in the City album. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm dropping a couple B-sides here. Um, but if you want the full album, it's over here on the Patreon. Patreon members, hey, listen, I told y'all, bro. I well, I don't think I said it in the last video, but I, th I was thinking about it in my mind. Like, listen, bro, I am playing. I want to react to these albums. I want to add new Dreamcatcher music and prepare myself for this new album coming out. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know what I'm saying? So, I uh, reacted to the previous album I forgot the name of, but the one with You and I. Um, that one I reacted to like four days ago. So, hey, four days later, we are here with this. I'm excited. i seen the concept photos for, for the, the new album, bro. I'm too excited. I don't know what to expect, but we got intro. Let's go. Intro, let's go. If you are Tino, you know, I've been killing it every day. Nah. I was thinking of a rhyme, but it didn't work. I really like the cover art. Alone in the city. Alone in the city. Oh. This kind of scary vibes. Goodness, I love these intros, bro. Did you not hear that? Oh man, these intros are literally, literally perfection in my opinion. Literally perfection. It's some of the greatest instrumentals that I've heard ever in my opinion. Like, whoever be creating these intros, bro, they do it masterfully in my opinion. Today, all right. Today, I was about to say today again. <laughs> um. Next, we got Dreamcatcher, what? Now, in similar fashion to the previous album where I've, I've already reacted to You and I, I reacted to a comeback stage. We're going to be doing the same for what? I'm excited. Let's go. I don't know why I said today. That is my intro, though. But I'm already in a mid-video. What? Dreamcatcher, what? What? Nunny? What? I'm sorry. Why did guy you look at me? Why did guy you look at me like that? They all to the side and see all the last two were looking at me. Ooh, you can't tell me that's not fire. I love the crowd. Oh my, was he was he was working? Whoa. Oh no, nah, she was just really just moving her shoulder and that like connected to her lower body. I was like, hold on. She got like like what is it like like what is that thing you, you catch fish with a fish net? You know what I'm saying? Like the like the like, like how they like catch fish or like a bunch of fish at once that's what that's what Gio has like right here at this part right here i'm like i was confused all right looks like it 
I really, really like for these like M countdown stages, they have like the background. I'm I'm a huge fan of that. And the gym catcher is always fire. This song is so good. Oh no! Jian looks like a boss. This 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 performance like a boss. Look at it. Oh that facial expression. Oh, that is so fire. <laughs> the domino effect. Ooh, okay, Yo, this goes for all their like pedal tracks, but like specifically for the Nightmare series, bro. Like they did not miss. Like for them to have six bangers, like especially after switching their concept, six bangers, bro. Like not just good songs. Oh, this is pretty good. It's pretty catchy. No, it's bangers, bro. And then they also continue that with their other uh, uh other music after that in my opinion it's phenomenal bro What the thing about these watching these performances, bro, is that I badly want to see them in concert, bro. Listen, bro, listen. I'm not gonna just say where I live, but like, yo, come to the east side of the U.S., bro. You know what I'm saying? Come to the east side. You know what I'm saying? Please, okay. I need, I need y'all to and be there. Please, Dreamcatcher. Please, I want to see y'all so bad in concert because I feel like, you know, especially with their type of sound that they have with this rock type sound, but also some of their B sides. Um. I feel like I'm just gonna have such a good time, man, bro. And I want that to happen so bad. I want it to happen so bad. But yeah, again, this performance is fire. What is 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 a song that I liked um, when I first heard it, and I've continued to enjoy it more and more as I continue to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Like "Good Night" and "Chase Me" were like out of this world, like amazing songs. And then what slowly progressed to being up there with them, and you and I also, you and I and and what were two songs that like I liked, but now I like even more, uh, especially after listening to it multiple times, you know, after the fact that I reacted to it when I was getting into Dreamcatcher. Um, but yeah, man, <laughs> like, again, this was fire. Um, I think for me, Shion was definitely my favorite in this performance. She was just looking like a boss and her being at the center for the chorus was absolutely phenomenal, bro. <laughs> like she gave me she gave me chills at one point, like literally the, the part where she was in the middle, like what? What and then her when the camera zoomed in and her facial expression changed, that was super super fire. So yeah, beautiful. The last song we got July seventh. Just a a random date. Hey, actually, hold on. Let me not say that. And then <laughs> there it, it actually meets some importance. Okay, they like, wrote okay. Let me not because you know what I'm saying I did watch that guide a while ago. Okay, okay. Their debut date was twenty. It was January thirteenth. Okay, so July seventh doesn't it doesn't relate to their debut date? Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure because I don't want to say that and then people in the comments be like, "Oh, it's their debut day," so that's why they put it. So July seventh. I wonder what is the importance of this date. Ooh, 
That whistle came out of nowhere. Oh, we get another one. And I missed you so much. I know I'm really like this song. I'm gonna like this one a lot. We gotta say Honda. so sorry I'm so this is this is too good this is giving me the Caribbean vibes bro Caribbean vibes and they're over here talking about some sad stuff I'm not gonna lie but still they get at me man I'm telling you these Dreamcatcher songs where they singing to me soothingly on a nice beat it's it's like a it's an easy way for a good song. My knees will be need on the sin. Yo, Sua, bro, come on, bro, come on, come on. I feel so far away. Yo, uh, it's it's kind of hard because I want to focus on the lyrics, but this song makes me want to move, bro. You know what I noticed? Sorry. Never, I'll say it after. I'm too. I'm, ah, so good. Before I get my thoughts on the song and the album, I just want to say what I've noticed is that before I got into K-pop, um, every time I would like listen to an album, 
it was more like I was excited for the good songs. And what I mean by that is that I was expecting there to be bad songs in the artists that I was artists and most artists that I was listening to. There would be like one or two where their whole discography is for the most part really good. But for like artists like Drake or, you know, any like I'm obviously from America, so like um just all the artists here, like you're excited when an album drops for the good songs, whether that's six good songs, whether that's eight, two, you're excited for the good songs because you know there's going to be some songs that are iffy. What I've noticed, and I'm going to talk about specifically Dreamcatcher, is that I'm not, like when I go to an album, I'm not looking forward to the good songs. I'm looking forward to the great and amazing and perfect songs. Um, because I already know that most of the songs are going to be, or all the songs are going to be phenomenal just because of their talent and the instrumentals that they have. Like, their floor is good. You know what I'm saying? If you know what I mean by floor is that the lowest they can go is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not that far down. So I expect every song is going to be good. You know, none of the songs are going to be songs that I hate or I don't like at all. So for me, because all the songs are good, I need something to look forward to. I need this. So I'm looking forward to the songs that are phenomenal. Okay. The ones that stand out from the good songs in the album. The, the songs that stand out from the nines and eights in the album. <sighs> this song right here is absolutely amazing. Really, really love the vibes. And I will say when people were telling me during Dreamcatcher Week, listen, their B-sides are phenomenal. Um, they go with, they do different types of genres and stuff like that. And when I heard Jazz Bar, that got me so excited because Jazz Bar is not only uh, uh, a B-side that is not the same as, like, the same type of sound as their title tracks, but it's, like, the complete opposite. So that gave me, like, okay, if they start here with, like, Bon Voyage and, Ch and Chase Me and all, like, the title tracks being this heavy rock sound, and then you go from like this vibey, jazzy type sound on the opposite end of the spectrum, then that means that the rest of their songs are going to be fluctuating in between here. You know what I'm saying? When some people tell me like, oh, their B-sides are different from the title tracks. Like, if because some of the Dreamcatcher songs B-side wise are still rock, right? So if the first B-side I heard was like a rock song, then my expectation would be like, okay, then the spectrum's like right here. Instead of like this, it's like right here. So I'm gonna think it's gonna be between here. But I'm glad that the first beat that I heard was Jazz Bar because it's so different that I got so excited because I know that now there's gonna be so many different types of genres that I'm gonna be able to hear. And I was not expecting a, a Caribbean type song when I clicked on this, and I'm glad I did. This was so phenomenal. The voices fitted so, so, so well. Everything was perfect about this song. Um, yeah, hey, <laughs> everything. And the thing about Dreamcatcher I like is that, you know, we obviously know Dami is the main rapper, but they don't force raps. Dami can sing for real, you know what I'm saying? So on some of these B-sides, there's no raps, you know what I'm saying? You got Dami singing, and she's doing really, really well. She actually has some of my favorite parts in this song vocally. So absolutely phenomenal. Uh, My review on this album, I think this album was phenomenal absolutely amazing uh but this is my third fourth mini album third or fourth fourth yeah fourth and i think this might be my favorite now i do have to listen to this one and the previous album more because it's only been four days since i reacted to the other one and today is today for this one but this is this is definitely this has that argument to be my favorite dreamcatcher album and one of the one of my favorite albums i've heard this year in my opinion um, and again, I'm just saying that off the high of just listening to this, but everything about this was phenomenal, in my opinion, and it just gets me so excited for their comeback to see what they have in store. And uh, yeah, hey, man, <laughs> oh man, um, yeah, but hopefully, y'all enjoyed this. Be on the lookout for more Dreamcatcher. I got five, well, technically four, because we are, I've already listened to what and I already have it on my playlist, but four new songs to add to my playlist. 